In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to draw and name polymers. The first question reads, a firefighter arrives at a home where a premature baby has been delivered. To prevent hypothermia during transport to the neonatal facility, she wraps the baby in cling wrap. Draw and name the monomer unit and draw a portion of the polymer formed from three monomer units for cling wrap, which is polydichloroethylene. Okay, the fact that they have the prefix poly suggests that this is multiple monomers connected to each other. And ethylene, we haven't seen this yet in any of our videos, is in brackets here ethene. And as you may know, that is a two carbon chain. So beginning with ethene, we have a double bond. It is an alkene, CH2, CH2. Furthermore, we have dichloro. Dichloro means that we have two chlorines and they're both positioned on one carbon. So I'll put a chlorine here and a chlorine here. Another name for dichloroethylene is 1,1-dichloroethene. This is just a synonym for the following. And of course, if you put these chlorines, you lose the hydrogen on this carbon. So we have one, two, three, four maximum bonds around this carbon. But this is a polymer and they want three monomers. So we need three of these. So let's go ahead and do that. We have this part, I'll rewrite it. We'll write this in condensed form. So this will be CH2. And then again, the carbon with two chlorines. So that's one monomer, that's another. And one more, I'll do it over here. CH2 connected to a carbon, CL, CL, and given that this is a polymer, this can go on forever. So I'll put these lines to suggest that it is ongoing. This is one monomer, this is another, and that's another. Also, one more thing to keep in mind is that when you draw these monomers, you lose this double bond. So that's why we have single bonds all throughout to accommodate the other monomers that are being added to the first one. In question number two, draw the condensed structural formula for the monomer used in the manufacturing of PVC, polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride looks like this. First of all, let's write it down. Polyvinyl chloride. While you can't get much information from this synonym of the actual IUPAC name, it is a two carbon chain that I can tell you and it has one chlorine. Unlike in the first one, it's not dichloro, it's just one chlorine. So we have C double bond with C and we have one chlorine on one of the carbons. So this should be CH2 and this should be one chlorine and a hydrogen. So that's what the monomer looks like. That's all they're asking us for and they're asking us for the polymer. So this represents the answer to question number two. And there you have it. Two examples on how to draw and name monomers and polymers.